Yo, what's up everybody? My name is Joey from Redland Productions. So I'm gonna teach you guys how I program my live drums, my live arrangements, bass, keys, all that stuff, right? Today I'm working on something for Leon. It's called Big Up You. She has a couple of shows coming out. So what we're gonna do is, first thing is you're dragging your stems, whatever the stems are for the song. This is how I have it. I have percussions, keys, um, some effects, background vocals, lead vocals, and I put in the bass, just in case. This is the song. Right, so that's the song we're working on today. It's called Big Up You by Leons. So first thing I do, grab all the stems, you turn on this flex thing. Just if I wanna speed it up, which most likely I will, cause I usually just speed up everything. Right, so now that this is, we have the flex thing turned on. Now first thing I do is I have my drums here. First thing, I mean, you can program this any way you want. My preference is just to play it in live, unless I have to do something that's like really crazy that I can't really play on keyboards, then I'll draw it in. But you could just, you know, do this create pattern thing, and you know, you find the notes, and you're programming whatever you wanna program. You could do the MIDI clip thing, you know. You program, once you know where your drums are, where your samples are, you could always just draw it in, you use this little, Pencil thingy. You join your kicks and whatever. I already, I already know how all these things are, so it's kind of easy, second nature to me. But at this point, see, draw it in. But I am going to play it in, for the sake of time. I am quicker with that, so that's what I choose to do. I use Superior Drums. This is a kit I made with a bunch of samples, and you know. Uh, my own preset, my own tune and everything. I mean, if you guys want me to do another video showing, you know, like how to build kits like this with other plugins, you know, feel free to leave that in the comments. So what I do is to start this first section, I do it by sections usually. So like the first thing I'll do is like the intro, right? And what I'll do is like, I'll take the drums first and get out of the way, right? So I'm probably gonna do something like that, right? First thing is, I always turn on this velocity thing, make sure my drums hit hard. For live shows, it doesn't really need to be, I mean, it could be dynamic if that's what you want, but I don't prefer, I prefer it to be more ag aggressive. So I turn this velocity, this MIDI thing on, keeps your drums at full velocity at all times, no matter how you play it. Secondly, I quantize, cause I don't really have the best timing. <laughs> but, so this is what it's gonna sound like. Right, next is bass. I use contact for this. I have my own little mix preset that I did um, to make it sound more real. Uh, this is the Scarby J bass. I edited this to my liking so it would sound more so ish So let's go. something like that. Quantize as usual. I have my little synth pad thing here. 
for the chords. That's what we're gonna do next. So. Ties. <coughs> so right now is basically just filling up the, the arrangement, right? Figuring out what I want to use to make the arrangement song as live, as big as possible for stage, right? Because a band is going to be playing this. What's next? Hit. My favorite hits. This is really just the end, and I need to do just a little cuts or whatever. Maybe put some lead guitars. Give it a little, a little color. That's good. That's good for for right there. For now, if I need to edit it, I'll come back and you know add some more stuff and whatever. But next is the chorus. Chorus. We're gonna go with that. Let me see what we could come up with for that. Gotta figure out what the bass is so I can play it like that. Always learn your bass lines. Your bass lines is one of the most important parts of your track. Make sure you get that down. You can add fills and runs after, but make sure that on time. I think I need to speed this up, it's feeling a little too draggy for me. for that build up. Right, 
on to the verse. So I figure out what I want to do there. I'm just gonna go with that now. could see this is all there is to it i'm gonna finish this up come back and check in with you guys right we finished first verse and the chorus the first chorus was done so all we gotta do now is copy and paste make sure everything lines up and we're done and so with the ending we just add a little outro and we're good Right, so finish everything basically, just copy and paste after that. I mean, after you do the first section, as long as the, you know, the, sec the songs repeating um, sections or whatever, you could do, you know, changes if you'd like, but for the purposes of this particular track, I could just do, you know, the copy and paste so they get an idea of what they're going to be playing, or at least what the arrangement is, the, f the phrases and all that kind of stuff. Thanks for watching, everybody. My name is Joey, Redland Productions. If you guys like this video, follow the Instagram, follow the YouTube, all that stuff, right?